In this video, we are going to show Cato Safety Lights Inspection, the innovative risk removal tool for inspecting encrypted traffic. With more than 85% of traffic being encrypted, TLS Inspection provides a critical function to reduce the risks associated to malware hidden in encrypted traffic, eliminates blind spots in cloud application usage, and unlock important security functions like CASB, DLP, and advanced threat prevention. However, enterprises often do not enable TLS inspection due to the following reason. Complex implementation, potential user disruptions with applications or domains that do not support TLS inspection, high operational cost of maintaining up-to-date TLS bypass list, and compliance challenges of sensitive domains that must be bypassed for privacy reasons. Cato Safety TLS inspection resolves the complexity and risk associated to inspecting encrypted traffic by leveraging a data-driven approach to automatically identify apps and domains which are safe to inspect while bypassing everything else, allowing IT teams to enable TLS inspection in seconds using a best practice wizard, therefore eliminating the operational overhead of continuous manual bypass list management, freeing up resources for higher priority tasks. Let's see it in action. Under TLS inspection of the CMA, the new best practices for safety less inspection menu help administrator to immediately understand what OS, devices, applications, and domain categories are currently inspected or bypassed, and recommend to create rules following the Cato Safety Less Inspection best practices. To comply with such recommendation and ensure smooth risk-free TLS inspection, administrator can click the Start Review button and check if their policy follows Cato's recommended rules, suggesting to configure them if they don't. Accepting the recommendation is as simple as clicking a button three times. Once done, the Safety Less Inspection Engine dynamically updates the status of the policies, indicating that now all tests have been passed and the new rules have been automatically added at the top of the default bypass rule. 